Hey, that's the way I would be, man. Up here proper today working, trying to put some things together. We're working on the honey house. Uh, we bought us a container and we've uh, we've insulated this container. We tarred it all up top to bottom. We insulated it with some half inch foam board on the outside. We put a rubber on and half on the top too. And we put a rubber roof up on the top of it too. And we've buried it in the dirt and uh, put some grass seed. Hopefully we get the grass to growing on it. We put piers under it with, with gravel for drainage and uh, put us some six mil poly down for try to keep some of the moisture off of it. So anyway, I'll turn this around here and see what we're working on. This is uh, this here is our property that we're going to be, we're going to be putting in. A, we're going to try to put us a, a nice camper right in here, about a thirty foot Keystone, and we're going to rent it out as a nightly rental. Uh, we live here in the mountains of North Carolina. You can see this is our honey house we're working on. It's a twenty foot container. It's going to be behind it. But anyway, um, this will get you an idea how private it is. We have got a pretty private setting. And the two families that live here are this one. Uh, I built that house. That was my first home I've ever built on my own. For, and then, uh, this was my second one up here. And then when my wife sold it, we moved away and built some more properties. And then we moved back here. This was my home place back in the day. It was where my grandma and grandpa, that's where I was raised at. But there's some, one of our bee yards down in there hiding out. And we've got bee yards up here. Uh, so you can see we're all about popper trees and sarawood. And they're starting to come in. Uh, Bees are polishing and doing their thing right now, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, been into them last week and uh, cut sails and done some checkerboard, and we're running. We got double deep eight hives, and we're running about 12, 13 racks of brood in them, and they're slam full of bees, and hoping to keep them from swarming. Uh, we should have a good field force of bees to, to take care of things, and uh, hoping we get a good flow that we can pull in about 120 to 160 pounds on each hive. Last year we. We done exceptional. We're running eight eight foot tall with on on supers, and I know that don't sound even real, but it does. We 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 got the we got the, the poplar here to really produce the produce the flow. That's for sure. But, and yeah, these are just laurel thickets here. But yeah, we walk up here and see what we're doing on this thing here. And, uh, you can see we we put we built piers, shot them in transit, and we put plastic under them gravel and then we uh, we put a half inch foam board uh, we tarred it all up first before we done anything and we put the foam board and now putting lads on it we're going to go ahead and stuck all that in and i'm going to paint this other door up and do some painting on the edges of this thing up here we put the track second down on it and uh try to get it where it looks blends off and not to see it so bad but inside i see what we're doing we took uh, four of sixes and we put on the wall they were four foot and then as the ground contour took off up through here we went ahead and put turtle back timbers in there and put three in the back and we got a lot more dirt in the back back there and we set up two batins up on the top four foot on the center to carry load which there's no dirt up in the front just in the back just a little bit so there's no load on this but we're using it so if we decide we want to encapsulate it with sheet rock or whatever we'll, we'll have it and it'll be, it'll be nice and, uh, we're trying to get our humidity level down it's a little on the higher side I mean, i'm thinking maybe just because we didn't have this done down here so we went ahead and framed this in we're going to go ahead and shoot it with the foam and then cover it up with plywood and put a nice floor on top of this and then we'll see how that brings it down hopefully we we'll bring it down to the right humidity Temperature runs on a 78 degrees, 75, 78 degree day, but uh, it was 57 degrees in here. So that's pretty cool for the year round thing. If I can keep it in the 50s all the time, that, that'll really help the honey. But uh, yeah, we're really proud of it. I think it's gonna make us a really nice honey storage for our honey. Uh, we take pride in our honey here. We, uh, we work hard on trying to get good, good clean honey. We take our time on cleaning it. Uh, I know sometimes you get some wax particles in them, but we, we really try to dial ours in really nice for people. And we have a lot of customers that, as you'd say, repeat customers that come to our house all the time and they're buying cases and, and jars and whatever. 
they like the taste of it. Got some one woman, she likes to buy it. She makes bread, bread with it, or bakery and stuff. But uh, she, uh, we have a lot, we have a lot, of, a lot of customers that just drive to the house. We don't even advertise. So and anyway, this is Albie the Bee Man. I'm gonna be signing off. We're gonna get back to work here and just have a good day. Lord bless and keep you. So, see you.